And as the outlight figures, including Infowars, the friends of Donald Trump, were getting kicked out of CPAC, inside uh, there was some surprises, including the performance by Diamond and Silk. Let us play a few seconds to our audience so that they understand who these people are. Oh, I think you have the sound off. Uh, you won't hear it, but the crowd will hear it. Yeah. Ah, okay. And their symbol, the symbol happened to be a donkey. Did y'all know that? Their, their symbol is a donkey. Yeah. Oh, but to you, Democrats. Uh-huh. You may make an ass out of you. Uh-huh. But you won't make an ass out of us. No, you no, won't. No, 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 no. No, you no, won't. No, you won't. You won't do that. Not to us. Oh, my no, God. I didn't, I, I knew about them from your last tweets of them. I believe it was years ago, but I didn't know they were still active. And there they are, uh, uh, calling Democrats animals, which I couldn't do on this show, which is reprehensible. <laughs> and, <laughs> and they are, uh, unrefined and they are trying to get the crowd excited around. No, 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 you won't do that to us. We're conservatives. Uh, yeah. What is there to say about this, Richard? I don't know. Well, <laughs> I mean, I, I hate saying this, but it is a bit of a minstrel show because they are, and I'm, I'm sure that they are perfectly fine people, uh, but they are embodying white stereotypes of African Americans, you know, with that, that's right, girlfriend, hmm, you know, like this, you know, I can't really do it well. Uh, yeah. But they're they're embodying that while regurgitating conservative talking points. It is just absolute heroin for conservatives. They they can, they cannot get enough. It is the best thing in their in their lives. They are uh, 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 perhaps uh, uh, achieving orgasm um, after watching you know stereotypical blacks do this kind of stuff. And it's weirdly racist in this in this kind of funny way because it is all about. A, a a black stereotype you know becoming a conservative it, it, it is it's a it's a weird thing but i i guess what i said is that look you know i i've i i i worked in the conservative movement i i guess for a short time i worked at a, cons the, a magazine called the american conservative at, at, once i was at talkies mag i was pretty much hostile towards that whole thing uh but yeah, I, I've been around these kind of bookish conservative types who wear their glasses and tweed coats, and you know they're 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 the kind of intellectual, you know, they uh, of intellectual types who have ISI literature and read Russell Kirk, and and I guess what I was saying is that I'm kind of calling them on their bullshit. There's not really much to conservatism that wasn't contained in that video. I mean, the, the, the diamond and silk are brilliant in just grasping the essence of what all these conservatives are talking about and just putting it forward to them in a McDonald's Happy Meal like container. Like they, they just they, they, they distill it down to its essence and give it to them nice and hot. And uh, it, so there really isn't much to conservatism outside of that just kind of nonsense that your opponents are bad people and we believe in the American dream and working hard and achieving liberty and uh, we got God on our side because that's what he wants is for you to get rich. Um, that, that's basically it. Um, it's, it's often said with, with higher level verbiage and more eloquently than that, but that pretty much is conservatism. It is liberal capitalist individualism um but with some kind of traditional Amer 1950s characteristics thrown in just to make it kind of feel trad uh but that's it and diamond and silk express it perfectly i agree with you it was a very racist display uh <laughs> they, they, they seem to work in a pair where one of them talks and the other is like uh-huh uh-huh yeah it's like a PDD, no, no. Uh, MTV video clips of some kind, where you keep yeah. hearing, uh-huh, uh-huh, yeah. Uh, yeah. One other shocking event the was... Democrats the Democrats want to give you health care? No, no, uh -huh. not up in here. No, no. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's kind of weird. Uh, 
One other thing that was kind of shocking is the Candace uh, Owens appearance. Uh, it all stems from the Colin Kaepernick saying, look, uh, North America has been stolen to the natives. And what does she get into? She wants to make the point that the stealing was correct. <laughs> the, the Native well, that... Americans were evil enough and had, had made enough cannibalism and human sacrifice that they deserve to be replaced. I can't believe this is Candace Owen making this case. Candace this is what Owen's she's doing. Will kind of weirdly be badass in kind of her way. Like uh, uh, even yeah. her notorious Hitler comment of like, <laughs> there was nothing wrong with Hitler so long as he stayed within Germany's borders. <laughs> she kind of weirdly like gets it but then totally doesn't get it at the same time and so yeah. she'll say things that are kind of really uncouth and and the kind of thing that like no leader in this movement would quite say you know i don't know i would i wouldn't say that i would i would yeah. focus more i would focus more on it, it was a major racial conflict and it was ultimately a tragedy um and we actually I, and i have said this before so that i we actually, we actually do kind of owe uh, the Native American something, uh, in the sense that we owe the defeated something. You don't just trample upon them and totally destroy them. Uh, no. Uh, and so that, that those are the notes that I would sound in my speech on the Native American tragedy. I think the, the notes Dinesh D'Souza sounds are, are the, these kind of like equivocating ambiguities of like more Indians declared war on each other than we declared war on them. So we were more peaceful. I, I've heard, I hate to say it. I've heard Jared Taylor make these arguments in one of his, I'm just kind of like, guys, this is a really bad argument. We, we need to just <laughs> admit that we won <laughs> and there was something heroic about it, but there was also something tragic about it. And, uh, and actually this was more or less the, uh, message delivered by, uh, uh, Hollywood westerns directed by John Ford, but um, it, it, it was a, a, a it was a triumph and a tragedy, and, and there was loss on both sides, and we owe something to the Native Americans. So, I think that's what I would have said. But Candace Owen, of course, goes full uh, genocidal lunatic on us. <laughs> yes, uh, and, and I can't believe that we're at this point where me and Richard are saying, "Look, Candace Owen, calm down the <laughs> calm extremism. Down. <laughs> this is not YouTube safe." <laughs> <laughs> right you're going in... <laughs> oh you're my going god we're gonna start talking about the holocaust or something i mean whew, yeah i mean that might get ugly can that so in, uh <laughs> too too genocidal not enough understanding of the terrible events that she's talking about i i, I have nothing else to say than i condemn uh her argument against colin kaepernick 